everyone was calling me to help them with videos. Okay. And I and I become famous in the university because everyone was like, yeah, I just called Chris, so he acts for free. <laughs> He likes it and he's good. Say hola to Cristo Fernandez, who you may know as the iconic Danny Rojas from Ted Lasso on Apple TV. Cristo's performance in Ted Lasso is quite memorable, not only because of his iconic catchphrase, football is life, but because he did all his own stunts on the pitch. How is he so convincing? Because Cristo isn't just an actor, but a former professional soccer player from Mexico. His story is fascinating. From playing pro soccer to losing it all after a devastating knee injury, to selling life insurance, studying acting in the UK and now voicing Wheeljack in the new Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Christo not only has a face for the movies, but a story for them too. Football is life. <laughs> but now is acting life? I think I think both. Both um, <laughs> forever football, but yeah, acting and filmmaking are life, but also life is life. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like being in both worlds, you have a very good sense of knowing how hard it is to become a professional athlete, to work as a professional athlete, have the disappointment of a professional athlete. And now you're having that experience as a professional actor and mm. having this huge amount of success, which obviously congratulations on. What do you think is harder, becoming a professional athlete or becoming a professional actor? Uh, well, thank you. Um, but I think like, um, I mean, it's, I mean, everything in life has challenges. Sure. Um, I just think that I I learned so much from my experience as an athlete. Yes, and and I embracing and using some of those skills that I had there, to, and I apply them in my in my new activities that really? I have now. Yeah, like like what? Like the hard work, the discipline. Mm -hmm. I think. Somehow the worlds are similar in that sense. And mm -hmm. like, I remember, yeah, you know, like training every day and, and, and playing football every day. And, and like in my, in my things I do now, like I also do all of those things like writing. I, I write every day too. So I think that mentality that I had as an athlete, I, I, I put it on to work now in, in my, in my acting and my filmmaking but also I learned from from my mistakes as well. Mm. Like I didn't I think I didn't have the mentality that I have nowadays. So I take I take now more care of, of the way I think. And and probably if I had that mentality back then when I was an athlete, things might have been different. Really? But but uh, everything happens for a reason and yeah, yeah. as you said, like uh, I, I touched bottom when I had my injuries. I lost my contract and I was on my way to the first division. I was training with the first team. Wow. And But also I think everything happens for a reason. I, I don't think that, that injury just happened because it was uh, um, bad luck. Mm -hmm. I just think everything, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's like all those thoughts you put that out there in the universe. Mm -hmm. Take me through, because when I looked online, I couldn't find uh, sort of details on your injury. What happened? How did you injure your knee? Well, I had two injuries in in two, in two my two knees, mm -hmm. in the left and the right. The, the first one was in the left, which was the big one, and that stopped me a little bit longer. And it was in the, in the moment I was going, training with the first team and everything. It was both the meniscus, but the first time also the meniscus and, and a little bit of the patel. Mm -hmm. yeah. patel I lost a little bit of cartilage there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm great. I'm, I, I recovered, and, and as you can, as you guys can see in, in yeah. the Tesla, so I, I can um, I do all my stunts proudly, <laughs> okay. honoring my football career. <laughs> okay, but so are you saying you personally killed the dog when you? <laughs> <laughs> No, I like <laughs> that's important to mention. No, no animals or dogs got hurt okay. in, or damaged in the in the in the process of of Ted Lasso. You know, I also played football growing up. Um, football, American football. No, uh, football soccer. Yeah, soccer. Mm. Um, in high school, I was actually the captain of my soccer team. Oh, nice. So um, it was a passion of mine as well. Not nearly uh, as serious as you took the sport and how successful you were at it. But I found that in the United States. Obviously, there's a lot of Spanish people that play in the U.S. At, in parks and games and things like that. 
I found that when I played with Mexican players specifically, it was a lot more rough, the games. Uh, Did, yeah. Do you experience that, being a Mexican soccer player? Well, in Latin America, we, yeah, it's, it, it, we are tougher. <laughs> yeah, like, I think, but, uh, but it's like the slide tackles are dirtier. I don't know if this is, holds true, and I'm just stereotyping here, but I specifically was always worried that I'm like, oh, I got to watch my knee. I got to well, watch. Also, we are very passionate by nature. <laughs> yes, yes. So, we, I, yeah, I, I think that's true. Like, yeah, we, well, football is a religion for us. Of course. And um, so, yeah, I can see, I can see that. Yes. <laughs> Do you um, contribute any of that passion from other players or perhaps tackles or whatever um, affecting your injury? Is that partially what caused the injury or did it happen non-contact? No, it was it was an accident. It was um, I was running to defend, and then three, I, I actually three teammates. We collapsed. Oh, okay. And and then, and actually, I think I like, yeah. We I was running to defend. I was I was not looking, and probably the other guys didn't. And boom, and I just remember like I blinked for. I think I like I probably passed out. Probably my only time in life that I passed. Really? Yeah, you but it was concussion. just a couple of seconds. But I don't. E I don't even know. I just remember I was like, ah. Oh. And I never liked lying down. Mm -hmm. I just tried to stand up quickly. And as soon as I stand up, I, as soon as we stood up, you went to the fall. I I, f I felt that like there was something wrong with my knee because I was f losing balance. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, okay, yeah, I cannot go back. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's how it. Wow, that's that, what it that's happened. brutal, especially with your own teammates unavoidable obviously like you can't control an accident yeah. and it's interesting that you say that it was uh it was meant to be <laughs> because it was like really outside of your control outside of your teammates control so it's quite true in that sense of things yeah but uh, again reflecting on reflecting on life um and i was adding too much pressure probably on to me because i was on my way there were you a midfielder coming back to defend y y yeah 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 I, I played right, left, midfield. Okay. Good at running lots. Yeah, a lot of running. And and crossing the ball, and I was fast. I had lots of skills with the ball, too. Okay, so you had that those injuries, and they set you back in your career. Um, how did you decide to say, okay, well, now I'm shifting from professional athlete to life insurance salesman to be able to reach the goal of becoming an actor? Well, so, like, the first... When I finished high school, because high school, I my professional football career started when I was 15. So mm -hmm. high school, I did it at nights. And then um, then I didn't do anything else after high school, only football. And then, but I I, I've, I always wanted to do stuff. Uh, so I, I joined languages. And also, which is, I think, when, when my artistic bug started to bother me, because there was a, a I had some spare time. And I and there was like a music school near my house mm -hmm. that I always saw it there and 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 because I was only doing football and 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 the languages I was I was like oh, I'll join the half hour there and I just joined like a bit of guitar and piano and singing mm -hmm. and and I've been always in the world of sports with my friends and when they saw that they were like you you can you want to sing and music and I was like, I just have to killing time. <laughs> And then, but then my parents told me, study something, just please us with that. Because my parents are, they liked studying. And I was like, of okay, course. whatever. And then I, I, I junk the career of communication. And at the beginning, I was a worst student. <laughs> be, but, but the teachers love me because football is a religion back home. Yes. And that, that's the guy who plays. Yes. Give him a 10. And I was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I, yeah, okay. even though I was sometimes getting late and missing, I was the worst. Okay. But, um, but then... The injury happened at the same time where I was watching some classes like journalism and and audiovisual languages and writing, and nobody wanted to do anything in the videos. Like, and I I was the one that you should do it, and I was okay, <laughs> and I started to act in that. So everyone was calling me to help them with videos. Okay. And I and I become famous in the university because everyone was like, yeah, I just called Chris, so he acts for free. <laughs> he likes it and he's good. Yeah. And I was like, okay. So I ended up having like a portfolio of videos, like 
from shitty videos to yeah. a bit more better videos. What was the shittiest? Come on. The I shittiest, I mean, like, there was like... A, did you do like some Shakespeare thing or something r ridiculous? <laughs> well, because it was communication, we had to create like these campaigns for products that we invented. So I remember uh -huh. I did one like a, like a nap, like, a, <laughs> like, I don't even know. And I was just like... And looking at the at the video there, and I was just acting like like a commercial, you know. I remember doing some cookies commercial, and I was just doing so many scenes and so many like short films and things, and I just loved it. And I was just doing it for free, and that's when I discovered my passion. I did a bit of theater in the university, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's when I discovered my passion. And and from there on, I was like, this is what I love. I want to do this. Let's do this. So yeah. you've probably done drills as a professional athlete. I mean, you've definitely done drills as a professional athlete, but then you've also done drills as an actor. What's the hardest soccer drill or football drill? And what's the hardest acting drill that you do to practice? Like, like what, what is drill again? Like, um, for example, in, in soccer, you would go around the cones over and over again, like a, a, a strategy to practice. Ah, okay, like okay, a short, like exercise. Yeah, short exercise that you do as an actor and as a football star. Um, okay, as a football, as a as playing football, um, I mean, al also like being in a in a great shape takes like oh, yeah. yeah, like because the skills are always there. The game you love playing, but just getting that condition. Condition. I remember like the pre seasons, like we w we go to Barranca, which is like the hill? the hill. And you do sprints up the hill. Yeah, and like I remember so many people throwing up and like literally like you have, you, the, the body collapses and you have to find a place where you can <laughs> take a shit. And like, <laughs> because the whole body is like collapsing yeah. just to be in the great shape. Of so, course. So it's not easy. Like, yeah, that that the okay. So the wind are always sprints hard. on the hills—that's bad. Yeah. But what, now, what about as an actor? <laughs> what exercises do you do that are hard? As an actor, um, well, I mean, personally, to me, just going to the UK and 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 just acting in another language and just because le English is my second language, mm -hmm. Spanish and is what I is my language I grew up with. So I remember the first six months getting used to the language. And and the terms and Shakespeare. Yeah, and I was like, oh God, my, God. my my brain is hurting. It was midday, and I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> I was, and I actually thought for a moment there's something wrong with me. And the, my principal, the my course leader, special shout to her, Jack Bessel at Guilford School of Acting. She she kindly told me, no, don't worry, Christo, it's fine. You're just getting used to this language and and Shakespeare and everything. And I was like, okay, yeah. You're right. I should take it easy. But I mean, yeah, just getting the new language and yeah, new and language stuff. and more acting wise, like the, the, the theories and but but to me personally my life just you know, like just getting used to the language and Of course that's hard. Yeah. Is memorizing lines for you hard? Um so at the beginning I think that was what I was like more worried about, but as it's like anything in life, you just you practice, pick it up and you're you good. Practice. It's like you give me a ball and I, I like it, it goes and like I just start kicking Juggling it. it yeah. Like now, working for example in Ted Lasso, an experience I've learned is that things change so much. TV is faster than film, and where before I will be freak out and you give me a lines and I learn them and then I go to the set and you change them, I will be like, oh my god, I'm, but now. You do that, and I'm I'm more used to that. What's so. your strategy for memorizing? Do you just read it multiple times? Do you have a? I think writing them down. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's just rather than just reading them, if I write them down, they stuck better. in my head. Okay. Better. Because that would be my fear too. I've tried out for some roles, and I was like uh, yeah? so worried about you, memorizing. You're also an actor? It. No, no. The furthest thing from <laughs> that. But you know, I tried to sort of do what you've done in just a very poor fashion. Unlike you, who've had a lot of success. I am a doctor. So I said, oh, I'm a doctor in media. I can play a doctor on TV. Yeah. So I've tried some roles and it's not the same. No, <laughs> no yeah, but I'm not. sure you can act. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, no, but like I just, I, I, this is also an important lesson that I've learned. And 
because I have many friends that, because when you start studying and you try to find your way in life, you get worried that you spend so much time doing something. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think on the long run, you realize that everything somehow helps in life. Mm -hmm. Like I would have never imagined football was going to come back to me in my new dreams acting. And, and I think what makes me hopefully a good actor is that I've, I've done so many things in my life, like playing football, studying communication, being a life insurance salesman, <laughs> like living in different parts of the world. I played also in Puerto Rico, in different parts of Mexico. Um, Selling cookies and commercials. Yes, it's cookies commercial and... and and I yeah like I I was a I work in PR I work in, in in photographer and I think all of those life experiences help you to be something and find your way and it's always good to try if you don't try you will never know so if you hadn't tried <laughs> yeah I tried and I learned no yeah but you tr <laughs> at but least otherwise I tried, yeah at least it, you try it but otherwise you will be in your head like questioning what questioning if? yeah I should I should do this I should do this I should do mm -hmm. this and I think it's always good to try and, and it's better to try and fail. And from there on, you carry on for the next things, you know. And fail might mean a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like I failed because someone told me I was bad and I said, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. I failed bec because I don't like it. I didn't enjoy the process. I thought this isn't for me, it didn't match. So it was my choice to fail. Mm -hmm. If I pushed and I loved it so much, I think that there could have been a world where maybe I wouldn't be a star, but I can you know, at least practice my craft yeah. that I enjoy. Yeah, yeah So yeah. I think that works. This is a funny question. Mm -hmm. So it must have been really easy for you to take on the role of a, a professional soccer player, given the fact that you were a professional soccer player. But now in Transformers, what life experience did you draw upon to play the role in Transformers? Because <laughs> that's got to be harder. Yeah, well, I mean, well, I mean, they, they chose... I'm grateful, uh, Stephen, the director, and Lorenzo and Mark and everyone at Transformer gave me the opportunity to play the first auto, the Autobot that is Latino, mm -hmm. and and that was a big responsibility to me. We found the character, but I'm grateful they allowed me to keep so many of Mexican expressions and like really having the essence of being Mexican. And when the Autobot hurts himself, he says, "I, I, I." <laughs> <laughs> so that was to me important, but the character is Will Jack. He's a nerd geek. Um, so embracing that aspect. That, also, he, he has a bit of an ego, mm. but also not not uh, mean. Mm -hmm. So to find that that was that was cool to play with, and 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 yeah, Stephen is amazing. So it was cool to find it, and also for me, especially with my. Everything I'm doing, I, I'm trying to bring opportunities back home to Guadalajara, where I'm from. And we recorded all the voice for my character in Guadalajara, Mexico. Wow, okay. The film is shot in New York and Peru, which I haven't been. Hopefully one day <laughs> we'll go there, but all the voice we recorded it in, in my hometown. Wow, that's really cool. Um, what's been your relationship with health? Have you always been healthy outside of your knee injury? Do you see the same doctor all the time? Do you have a primary care doctor? Uh, yeah, no, sports has always been part of me and it's it's still part of me. And I, I like in terms of eating, I've, 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 I've been discovering new ways of eating. Like right now I'm in like a, an intermittent fasting mm. situation, yeah. which I think with the crazy schedules, it allows me to keep in shape too. Mm -hmm. I've also learned that, like, I've, I've always loved doing sports and working out like crazy, like so much. But I also learned that sometimes, well, it's it's all about the, how you eat sometimes mm -hmm. more than the... than the Exercise or performance. Than the yeah. exercise. Because now if I compare the amount of exercise I, I do now, uh, if I compare it to... My glory days, like I exercise less now and probably in terms of like definition and fitness, I might have better results now, but wow. but, but also I, I love eating <laughs> and I eat lots. Everyone who you meet that says that met me can tell you that I eat like, like crazy. And I've opened <laughs> doors in life by just eating so much. Like I remember as a kid, like 
the mothers of my friends were like, yeah, I invite Chris, so he's a lot. <laughs> and even nowadays, I go to anyone's house and they are like, and they see how much I eat and that opens doors. <laughs> what's your favorite meal? Like if you had a last meal, um, what's your, what are you making as your last meal? No, well, Mexican food is my favorite, of, of course. course. Yeah. But, but you have to go to Mexico to try their real deal. Okay. And also our cuisine is so ex different and it changes from Guadalajara to Mexico City to Oaxaca to the north. So what's the meal? What What's the... Well, you have tortas ahogadas in Guadalajara mm -hmm. and, and and you have a pozole. Have you uh, tried no, pozole? No, no? Pozole, pozole yeah. is like a soup with corn, big corn flakes. Mm -hmm. And, and it has chicken or meat, or it doesn't have to if you're vegetarian. Um, that's one, probably my favorite. It just good. It feels warm in the belly and yeah. it fills you up. Um, but any, but like I love Japanese food. I think probably after after Mexican food, Japanese it's Japanese food. and Chinese, Chinese, okay. Chinese food too. Yeah, I have Chinese blood in my my veins. Oh, so really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You did the genetic testing. No, like just the father of my grandma. Oh, okay. My great grandfather was from China, mm -hmm. um, so I have a bit of that, and yeah, and the Mexican and the yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, so cool. good times. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on. I really hope you enjoyed our conversation as much as I did. Continued success for you. We're going to be cheering you on in all your venues and ventures. Where can people uh, follow your journey? Oh no, thank you, Doctor Mike, and thank you to everyone listening, and thank you for the support and. Uh, well, I, yeah, yeah, in social, social media, I'm like Cristo Fernandez, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, I think uh, TikTok too, apparently. There we go. And, um, and also for everyone out there, um, that wants to support me and the new uh, projects, I'm developing my film company. It's called Espectro MX Films. You can find it also in my profile and so far uh, I've developed three indie films in Guadalajara and hopefully there will be some more th things coming up in LA and I'm just trying to yeah as we were saying develop uh, more opportunities um, in, in other parts and also for other people because I think there are many friends of mine from Guadalajara from London from LA that I believe in and and then and, and then I think uh, they yeah there are more things coming up and doors should be open also for, for other friends and and also basing myself in creating my own work, which I think for anyone out there that wants to to follow their dream, I think that's my advice. Just don't rely on other people giving you the opportunity. Just create it and make it happen. Yourself. Make it happen. Yeah. Just And as you that. said earlier in our interview, it's not just football is life or acting is life. Life is life. <laughs> life is life. Like the great song. Yes. <laughs> Brother, thank you so much for thank coming you, on. Brother. I appreciate thank you. it. Thank you, thank you, man. Cool. Football might be Danny Rojas' life, but my life has been medicine. Click here to hear five of my wildest patient stories, and as always, stay happy and healthy.